a little bird's eye view. Man, that is painful, guys. Like, it is pulsating my whole scalp. You can see the redness now. Uh. Uh. This is a video I'm dreading doing, but <laughs> we're going to do it. Curing baldness or thinning hair with capsaicin. Uh, I'm no doctor, so this is just for experimental purposes. So let's just get right into it. This is going to be a bit of a difficult one for me to make. But I'll show you what we got going on underneath the hood. You know, here we go. You ready? There we go, guys. You know... <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't insecure. I'm very insecure about my hair up here. You know, we did many different things. Before we get into the pepper, you know, for many years, I've tried different techniques. First off, we started with this, with, uh, with Rogaine. And you know, that works for, that did work for me for quite a while. But one thing with this, it's very expensive. Look, uh, look how old this is, guys. You can see the, you see the, that's how long I've had this. That is very expensive, especially if you're doing it twice a day, and not to mention it stinks. So the other option I had here, I went and purchased, was a micro needler. And you can set it to certain depths. I don't even think it's charged anymore. Turn it on and bam, you go all over your head. If I let it grow, I can do a comb over. <laughs> I, I can do a comb over. Like I'm sweating. I'm so nervous doing this video. Oh, man. I never, I never thought I'd be doing this, but, but I seen a guy on TikTok <laughs> eat a jalapeno. Or no, he actually was using the jalapeno, the oil inside the jalapeno, and it was he was rubbing it just on his head. He was mixing it with castor oil. And uh, I, I don't have castor oil, but I have done cayenne pepper before. And basically, the cayenne and the capsaicin will actually stimulate blood flow to the scalp, right? This is the first time, this is the, sorry, this is the second time I've done this. I've done it once already. And uh, I got to say, the first time, it, it just, my whole scalp started pulsating. I think it was, stim it got all red. So I think it did stimulate blood to the scalp. So I'm just going to eat half of it. I'm going to eat half. That way we have all the oils at the top of the pepper. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay? This is going to be for an experiment on the scalp. And I'm going to do it periodically. And I'm going to show you guys where I'm at each step of the way. So let's go and eat half of this Carolina Reaper. Which is 2 million, roughly 1.8, 1.7 to 2 million Scoville heat units. And I just wanted to point out, you do not, I repeat, do not have to eat that pepper. <laughs> or eat half the pepper even. As long as you cut it in half and you're able to access the oils at the top or near the placenta, you should be fine. So there we go. Okay. <coughs> it's hot. <coughs> what I did before, I just took the pepper, I smashed it down, flattened it out. We're gonna start here. I got, I got thinning on the top here, right down the middle to the back. So I just started rubbing, started rubbing all along the top of my scalp. Last time it did take, uh, I would say, five to ten minutes to really start sinking in. But we'll see how quick this one works. <sighs> and who knows, this could be a cure for thinning hair and baldness. Like I said, this is only for experimental purposes only. I am not a doctor. And do not know what I'm talking about. So. But I mean, I am 45, right? But there you go, look. 
kind of see how it all sets kind of what I did before I am 45 I am gonna I am losing my hair you know I held on to it for pretty long actually you know for considering my age and stuff but I would like to try to keep it as long as I can even further that pepper is smoking hot guys lit the back of my throat up whoo but already I can feel my scalp just tingling Olivia also got me this for Christmas <laughs> so, so I think it's no secret a lot of people know I'm losing my hair anyway but I think this thing goes like I don't know if it goes like that I think you can massage it but I don't know about this but I am telling you right now if you got thinning hair go see your doctor first but check that out man that's expensive though the micro needle is expensive you can even use it for beard growth it just it breaks up the the scalp like the oh yeah and you just massage like this i guess with this thing i don't know what the hell this doesn't seem like it's doing anything but the pepper i am telling you man like it's not burning yet not too bad yet but i did it last time and then 15 minutes went by and it was just my whole scalp was seemed like it was pulling like jumping oh my nose is running from that pepper i was sweating a bit noses yeah how already said nose <laughs> Like I said, I was really bad, guys. My hair, that's why I'm trying to show you this now and, and see if it really starts improving even more. It can be something uh, I'm just going to show you guys and as experimental purposes on YouTube and take you along for the journey with me and show you. Uh, I believe there is some scientific like evidence and facts be backing it up. Uh, the one guy I seen on TikTok was completely bald and started stimulating hair growth again. So I just thought I'd ramp it up to the next level. And once I seen his video and really try to get the calcium or the scalp blood flowing to the scalp. I was doing handstands before too. Handstands in combination with micro needling. And, you know, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever go back to that. I was using a lot of this before to, or to, for our wedding and uh, it worked. All my hair fell out and it regrows thicker. But I was paying like $300 a month to, and using it twice a day to try to keep my hair. I can't afford that. That's no way. I did it to keep it for the wedding and then, but yeah, that's it. So fun fact, DHT is actually one of the leading causes of baldness in men. That's how we're looking. <laughs> it feels like my whole head's on fire and it's very painful the pain lasts the first time i did it it lasted for like almost an hour of intense burning on the scalp but i'm hoping that will wake up some hair follicles and stimulate some growth and i'm gonna keep you guys posted and update it and show you guys how it's looking I am going to probably keep shaving my head and I'm going to use the micro needler. I stopped using this for quite a while, but you know, I want to get back to using it. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll have a full head of hair by summer. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just hoping for a better comb over. <laughs> a better comb over would be great. A few moments later. A little bird's eye view. Man. That is painful, guys. Like, it is pulsating my whole scalp. You can see the redness now. Uh, and, uh, what I was going to say, you know, I am not a doctor again, so this is only for experimental purposes, so don't try this at home. You know, next, I may try something like I seen him do on TikTok, which was with the castor oil and putting the pepper right in the castor oil, making a solution up so it's not as painful. And then you can kind of spray it on daily and uh because i gotta say man that, that is it is on fire 
All right, guys, we're about a half hour past treatment here. I gotta say my scalp is numb, like real numb, like lost feeling in my scalp. <laughs> so.